Um, so Norm goes back. Let's kind of quick answers uh, across the state. So Norm, we're going to give you the 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 only place you can get across the state answers is right here. Let's go in counterclockwise. Scott, then Heidi, then then Dylan. Septic systems. What's the deal with septic? Uh, uh, if you got if you currently have a cesspool, what's the rule with septic on either new build outs or additions or new or you know new construction? Scott. Yeah, well, if you have septic or if you have a cesspool in place, they may require you to uh, change over to a septic system. There is a, a hard date, like 2050 something, for for people to switch over. But for se um, septic systems on Oahu, not going to be nearly um, as prevalent because most of us are city sewer. It's only until you get out the windward coast, uh, the North Shore, and you know some ag land areas, some some kind of rem more remote areas where you you may not have access to city sewer. If you have access to it, you're forced to tie into it. If, you're, if you don't have access to it, then, then you're going the septic route. And the one thing to understand with septic systems on residential property, uh, you're maxed at five bedrooms for the, uh, on the property. Now there's ways to kind of bend that a little bit. Home office, it's not a full bedroom and whatnot. Don't but. tell anyone. <laughs> but that's uh but yeah so se septic systems here in fact my first development actually my first two development projects were on septic um so you do see it but it's not nearly as prevalent it's more in remote areas yeah oahu who's got the uh the uh the the, the sewer system uh, the utility heidi what about maui what's the you you mentioned something about building a house on maui with septic what's the what's the, what's the what's the, how does that work on maui um yeah you either need to tie into county sewer or you need to have a septic system for a new home. Um, they're phasing out cesspools and I believe that is statewide. Um, so what I was mentioning before is even if you're going to add on to your house or get a building permit to build an accessory dwelling or Ohana, the county is gonna require you if you have a cesspool to upgrade it to septic. Um, so yeah, I believe 2050 is the date everybody has to be converted over to septic. Um, but a lot, of, like Scott said, I mean, on Oahu, Maui is similar. I mean, there are a lot of places that are on the county county sewer system. One of my um, probably least favorite things about being a realtor is attending septic inspections. Those are pretty nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I get I, I I I don't even want to imagine what that's like. I don't even want to imagine what that's like. Um, Dylan, what's what's the what is the legal sort of ruling or what's the how does that work? You mentioned it as well. What's the what's the thing with, with, with septic on the big island? So, so it is a state law. So this is one thing that is not county by county. Right. So so the septic conversion or the, the cesspool conversion law is a state law. And, and by 2050, everyone is supposed to be converted over to a septic system. I did not so know that. Going, that's, a, that, that's a state law. Going yeah, and so 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 going forward, and I have some editorialization to do on that, or um, in a second. But going so going forward, any new construction, you have to be on septic. You cannot build a cesspool anymore. Um, and like Heidi said, if you're going to do any type of upgrades or additions, that's going to um, increase the amount of wastewater that you have. You have to you have to upgrade to a septic system. The problem with this is is it's very much a feel good law. You know, a virtual signaling law is what it is because. The reality is when this when this when this happens in 2050, and um, hopefully I'm not selling houses at that point, uh, but I'll probably be, still be around. It's impractical. I mean, there's no way you're gonna across the, across the entire state have you know hundreds of thousands of homes all of a sudden start converting over to septic systems. One, because we don't have the the, the capacity co contractor wise, and two, a lot of these homes were built a long time ago with the thought that you wouldn't have to do this, right? So the accessibility of where you would have to put the system may not be possible. So it's from a just a access and construction standpoint gonna not be possible for many places or what are you gonna have to do, move your whole house in order to get to the place where you need to bring a machine in to dig a hole to upgrade your, your cesspool. It's, it's just not gonna be practical. So I'm thinking this is probably gonna change, but it's easy for politicians to pass laws that require something 25 years into the future and then tell people how great they are for saving the environment you know, today. So that's really what that law was. I think as we get closer, there's gonna be some revisions to that when they find out that, and then what are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna require people on fixed incomes to spend 25, 30 grand to upgrade their system or, or, or what? Are you gonna start finding them and put them in jail? Like, well, you know, what are you gonna do if they don't, right? So it's, uh, it's complicated, but I tell people don't worry about it. It's gonna change when we get closer and people figure out the real implications.
That's a really good point, right? You 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 pass a law that's not going to take effect for thirty years, which is like you know after there's a good chance you won't be you the legislator won't be alive anymore, uh, you know when when it goes into effect, knowing full well that it's not going to happen that way. Uh, but you could tell people that you did it. So you know, <laughs> yeah, we've we've got the we've got the the solution, and 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 Alex agrees. Alex agrees well. So Scott, go ahead. Yeah, part. I was going to say part of why I love doing the show is because of the connections that we have with you as the audience. And, and someone had reached out. We, we had covered this topic before and someone had reached out and said, hey, there are new septic tanks that don't even have a leach field. And I, I said, hey, send me the info. I got all the info from them and did some research on it. It was really amazing. And, and the reality is, if you think about it in 20, 30 years, is it even going to be a septic system that we're using? Is it going to have something completely new used? So the technology is always improving and stuff. So it'd be, I'm, I'm actually interested to kind of see what what's going on out there because a septic tank without a leach field, the leach field is the biggest challenge typically with, with septic tanks. you got to have a big enough field to be able to absorb that water that goes into the ground and stuff. That's a really good point. You know, Scott, I, I'll bet there'll be some kind of future Elon Musk got kind of person who's going to is going to kind of you know do invent something crazy that's solar powered or whatever that's going to make this all go away and you know just be like a click of the mouse or something right uh and so